Hi there and uh, welcome to the next vlog. Uh, this one's all about the electric side of things. Um, now Water Lily was made in 2005 uh, so she's uh, aging a little bit now and some of the cables are looking a bit uh, shabby and some of the switches aren't doing what they uh, should be doing um, especially around the engine bay. So this is all to do with tidying that up, making it safer. Um, the two isolation switches I've got um, they've got quite a long cable run that go into the cabin itself and then all the way back. So get rid of all that and um, we'll put some new switches in the engine bay itself, keep it nice and short, uh, keep BSS happy as well. Uh, so yeah, so this is how we've uh, decided to do that. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye. So this is how I started with all the bits for the leisure side of things. I'm going to use the Victron Power In here um, which is just a great bus bar solution uh, it's got positive and negative uh, bus bars on there and it's uh, it's so easy to use this is going to be my new battery monitor the uh, Victron shunt uh, it's a lovely little unit and it's great because it will bolt directly onto the uh, the links um, only problem is is uh, these are m10 and it's uh, m8 connection on there so I'm gonna to have to uh, fiddle about with it a little bit but you can see once it's on there it avoids another cable so that's a tidy tidy way of doing it it does lift the links up a little bit though so you do need to put some washers underneath it which seems a bit odd Again, this is the uh, Victron uh, fuse with the uh, switch as well. This one is uh, a 650 amp switch, uh, which is well OTT, uh, but I thought I'd get something um, so I don't have to worry about the uh, amperage again. So this is all just going to connect up here to uh, create the uh, positive and negative. Once this is all on, you can see it's uh, it's quite a quite a neat solution. I'll uh, save you the drill noise here. Um, yeah, just making this eight mil hole a ten mil hole so that it will bolt onto the um, the shunt. And it's great so just by doing that we're able to sort of miss out a whole cable so it just bolts straight on it's a really good solution i really do wish though that uh, victron would make it so that it would sit under here though because as soon as it's on there uh, you see it fits nice and snugly but the shunt is just slightly too high so uh, the uh, the links power in needs a few washers underneath it just so that it sits in the right position So now onto the switch. I'm trying to connect everything using copper bar rather than cable just to keep uh, the runs really short uh, and to make it just a bit more resilient. Uh, this bar is 120 millimeter uh, in cross section so it's more than enough. And it just seems to be a good solution. The main problem is just forming it so it fits properly. So that's now all ready to fit. Um, you can see how it's all uh, all laid out. Um, I did it on a board so that I could get it all done before I put it on the boat so it would be a lot easier and that seems to have worked out okay. Um, so it's sort of in several sections. This is all for the starter so that's all completely separated there and all this onwards is for the leisure side of things. So this is the, the negative that goes to the battery. Uh, it's got a 500 amp shunt on that. Um, which is going to monitor the batteries. Really good because uh, just drilled this out a little bit and that bolts directly onto it, which is uh, a really nice connection on there. I don't know if you can see it, so uh, it reduces the cabling. The only thing is, is I had to uh, lift up the Link's power in a little bit so that it fitted. So if I just show you 
I don't know, there, I don't know if you can see those uh, washers underneath there. So that just lifts it up so it connects properly. Um, yeah, that's all fallen off. I didn't have that screwed on. But uh, yeah, so this gets its 12 volt plus um, from the plus positive bar up here. See, it's all connected there. And uh, these are all ready now to accept circuits. Um, so this one's going to be the inverter charger. Uh, this is going to be the uh, control panels and uh, 12 volt electrics. And there's a couple more left in there. And you see, um, put some self amalgamating tape on there just to insulate it. Uh, I've used copper bar on here. This is uh, insulated copper bar, which is uh, <laughs> put a sticker on there just for the future so I can remember what capacities it's at. It's 120 millimeter square, so that's uh, well over 500 amps. It's a 600 amp switch, it's way OTT, but uh, I wanted to put something on which is not going to have to be replaced, uh, and that comes down to. Uh, a mega fuse so again you can see the copper bar around there uh, where the fuse is and uh, this is going to go to 95 millimeter cable to the positive of the battery so that's the, the whole circuit there that uh, that you can see I've also had some copper bar left over so I put I made this bit up at the end so I can add extra uh, grounds on there uh, if I need to I don't know if I'm going to use that yet but uh, the options there anyway um, yeah, so that's that side, and on this side, much much simpler. Uh, it's got one lead coming over from the uh, shunt that just monitors the battery capacity on that. It doesn't do um, uh, amperage or anything like that. It's just a, the voltage, but uh, so that connects in there. And this is going to be lead coming out and goes down to the engine. Uh, so that's uh, much simpler. But yeah, it's quite a quite an easy setup quite a, a neat setup there I'm going to bolt it onto the boat I think um, I put some battens on but this thing is so heavy uh, I can imagine I can put it on and it's going to fall off so I might have to uh, put some coach bolts on there just to keep that all in place but there there you go this is a um, buffalo board so it's uh, waterproof but I've also uh, put some varnish on the edges so it doesn't uh, get soggy at all um, but yeah that's uh, Hopefully it will work well. Um, oh yes, on the shunt, uh, it's also got a VE connection on there, which runs under here, and that's the lead coiled up over there. That's going to go onto the Serbo GX, so then this then gets incorporated into my monitoring, so I can uh, see what's going on remotely. Um, yeah, it's a really good solution. Uh, so yeah, my, uh, my gradual move over to Victron is uh, almost complete. There you are. And there you can see the thickness of the copper bar, which uh, should be able to handle anything. So back on the boat, you can see the batons on the uh, side there that it's all going to fix to just above the batteries. Sorry about the noise, that's the Webasto going. So you can see how it all fits on there. Um, fortunately, the batons seem to be strong enough, so uh, no coach bolts needed. Uh, time will tell if we do need them in the future though. And now it's all connected. Uh, I've taken a lot of wires off the batteries and put them onto the link so it's tidied it up. So there you have it. That's it for this one. Um, thanks for watching. Um, more coming up very soon. Not such a long gap between the next one. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.